Hello and welcome to the Not Too Shabby Shop YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am going to make a bay window card. This is going to be a USA 2 uh, side folding landscape card. So you want to cut your card base to four and a quarter by 11 inches and then you want to score at three eighths of an inch one and three quarters of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, five and one eighths of an inch, and five and a half. Then you can start your folding. So I like to start by just folding in half. So that's going to be your standard A2. This first fold here is a valley fold. And you might have uh, noticed that I scored that a second time from the back because I like to score my fold my score lines as mountain folds. And then you have two mountain folds followed by another valley fold. And that is going to be the basis for our bay window card. I'm gonna be using the November uh, subscription box of the month and I've already cut down my uh, mats and layers. So I've taken some of the gorgeous papers from one of the paper pads and I've cut them down so that there's just a very, very narrow border all the way around. So a little bit of that white card, uh, card base will be showing. So that first section there is a quarter of an inch wide by four and one eighth of an inch. So basically all of these panels are one eighth of an inch um, more narrow and more um, and uh, shorter than the panel that they are getting ad adhered to. So that just gives us a really nice uh, fine border all the way around. And I'm just going to attach each of those panels. Um, and you could do a double layer of um, pattern paper or even use solid color cardstock if you want, but I'm only doubling up on um, the three sections that are kind of that, that bay window portion, the window portion of, of what a bay window would normally be like. And so I've just picked out a couple of different patterns to layer right on top. That first um, black with the sort of chevron or the um, diagonal lines, I feel could um, be used as a solid. So I thought that would um, be a little bit nicer than just solid color cardstock. This piece here is one inch wide by four and a quarter tall. And I am attaching some foam to the back, but I'm being a little bit careful. This is, um, my foam <laughs> squares actually are nearly full one inch wide, but since they aren't, I'm taking advantage to place them so that they are all flush on what will end up being the right edge. And I'm attaching this to the inside of the card. So this is going to be a little bit of an easel stand, and that's what you'll tuck your um, bay window into when uh, the card gets put on display. And then I've just taken another uh, or leftover piece of that um, central pattern paper that I used on the front of the card and I'm attached that to the inside of the card as well. Then all you need to do is just glue down that very first section, that three eighths of an inch wide section, glue that um, right on down to the inside of your card and that helps to keep the shape of the bay window you see how that looks all tucked in. So with that, the foundation is pretty much complete. Now I'm going to just color up one of the um, stamped images in this really large six by eight stamp set that we get this month. Um, this is all about uh, Christmas on the farm. So it's really um, got some great sentiments and uh, some really nice images as well. So I took, um, it did take a bit of time to, to re-swatch all of my colors because I just wanted a more fun swatch book and I've got these monster stamps that are kind of fun to color up. So I just stamped out a bunch of them and 
and colored them in some of my favorite color combinations. I primarily use Ohuhu markers and I feel, and I think it's mainly because they were, they are very affordable and so as a entry point into alcohol marker coloring, they were the first markers that I colored with. And I think when you have familiarity and practice with any medium, you tend to you tend to get better as time goes on. And so I actually think um, I find these are my favorite markers to color with. I have a small and growing collection of Copic markers, but I'm just so used to the Ohuhu markers now that I I actually tend to get a better result when I color with them. But I think really that's less to do with any quality differences and just more to do with practice. So whatever you're using to color with, just practice and uh, you'll get better at it. So I um, have chosen to color some portions of the barn in uh, some browns and some in red, but I left that top roof part because I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted that to continue with the red or if I wanted to put some more browns up there. Um, so you'll see I, I actually leave that to last as I continue on. Some of these really small areas I don't even bother with multiple colors. I just stick to two colors and um, in some cases like the windows there I actually just colored right over the um, inked uh, what was inked originally in black and that that does tend to darken the ink a little bit, especially since I'm using um, my preferred ink for when I color is to use Nouveau's a hybrid black ink because then I don't have to decide when I stamp out my images if I'm going to use a water-based coloring medium or an alcohol-based coloring medium. It's a really nice hybrid ink where I don't get any sort of um, bleeding whether I'm using my alcohol markers or my water-based markers. So so I like it for that reason, but it, it's not the darkest ink. I usually have to stamp multiple times to get it as dark as I'd like. So once um, I finished coloring, I just did all of the uh, fussy cutting off camera because it takes me a while to do fussy cutting. And I'm going to attach my image with just a little bit of foam for some added dimension. This is already, um, this is a, still a pretty flat card. It's just very dimensional when you have it on display. So I think that's the beauty of this um, card design because it does fold down flat and you can, um, and it's a pretty easy mailer, but it also just begs uh, to be put on that mantle <laughs> during the holidays. So I've already stamped out one of the sentiments. This one's really, really awesome. It says, um, life is better on the farm. And it does have some florals that are suggestive of the, of sort of winter, um, florals, I think poinsettia, some, um, maybe some evergreens and, so, or pine um, branches. So it can be suggestive of the holidays, but I also feel like it can just be used any time of year. And I'm just trimming this um, down with ample, ample white space so that I actually still have a place to sign and write on the card. And it's still, it's still kind of, um, it's far enough down that white space that even when this is on display, you can't really read that message um, just casually walking by the card. So I still think it's a nice card for even if you want to put it on display, like in your, um, at, at work and on your office desk, for example. So really, really fun. Um, love this style of uh, card and it's a super easy, fast, fun fold as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And here are a couple more videos you might enjoy watching next. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting, and have a fantastic day. Bye!